And I've seen the letter that was sent by Jim Tiddies to Jim asking him if we would go down to meet them. But Jim had a good job at Wales and he couldn't see why he's in that first afternoon and missed it. What could have been a wonderful opportunity. Now I know that letter's in existence because his granddaughter has lent me all the programmes of the October concerts, which these lads have copied. So that's a permanent record for who came, what they signed. There's no encores down, unfortunately, but we must look forward to the news. I remember being allowed to go when I was five. I had to sit at front row and behave. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to look up at these fellas in the evening dresses, you know, and white bow ties on, and this big Steinway grand with Jim. I used to think it was marvellous. And I remember once when Isabel Bailey came, she was that ten on with Jim for the place, she ran around behind her and kissed him. <laughs> <laughs> and they were only more embarrassed than she did. He didn't know his bullets. But they were that ten on with him. Uh, work, I come around to work. Now, one of the things that I remember particularly, Willie got wanted up at A Slack, wanted somebody who barn doors, do you remember? Daughter sat there and she didn't let it go. <laughs> but we test when they were there to us. And so John must have been over and else I must have taken up to measure that all these doors and they had to slide both ways at these doors. And of course they were running track and they were all to fix. And the only homes of ice transport, them and brothers, and then were my motorbike. <laughs> and an old door had to be taken up in bits. Or Jonas Enoch's cart, and they were up to the same slack, and we went up as soon as we could it out. Put them together, it fouled on some tessels, and hung them and hung them, and boarded them, a little wicked daughter and running red, all along with Jonas, fading away. Fortunately, as I remember, well, they were right, and we got these doors wrong. But, up and down on the motorbike, and just I took John Rattler to a job at, at, at Wallow Ice Farm once. It was like so, having a second coin or something. But, <laughs> but I want to be clear with one having John at the back of me. But I know that, by the way. It's a little old countryside. And another job that I did, Gerald Dole up in Middleton, bought a fresh house. And he found out that when he bought his staircase work, were on it last legs. And so we ran it out and they flitted to this house and they were going upstairs on the ladder. <laughs> we we we'd been forked. And I thought like these stairs as sharp as ever I could. So <coughs> Ronald went up and measured height and going. And I went in the staircase, this staircase in there. Didn't, didn't a, a big a little job like in the staircase, but a lot of machinery. If you want to chop out behind them, that's by the way. But this staircase were ready for going up. And if you were Jerry. And Gerald and wife and Barnes were still going up this ladder going up the bed. <laughs> well, I'll let the it myself. Well, we got this here staircase onto the hand cart. Deal it on and put some tag on and be tackle weight. And I wheeled it up to the top of it. Now can you imagine? Oh, we up going, down we go, <laughs> jamming it into the wall when I wanted to stop, I no brakes. <laughs> and going up, up foggy line, I had to jab shafts into the wall before it ran over. And up, up scarbled out, eventually, the one or two turned out in it and they gave a bit of a lift to get up the journey. I had to put it in with myself, bother all, and to whoever had measured that staircase, it should have been half an inch narrow. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't weird. And I put a line band for a double staircase to, to floor it downstairs. And it was at least an inch out. And I had this stone to punch off behind so I could get staircase. Can you imagine? Just a little mistake like that. If it's been on the staircase, it's been over in now, and I've had them all. It were all hard work. We'd know it. We'd know it.
Revelation in the rules, the gold lined up with others in Jesus. And just blew the wind, misses here and there, all of them went through walls. It didn't do us no harm, it failed, did it? We're mm -hmm. uh, getting through one way or another. But there were no such thing as mechanization in the 1940s and the 1950s. We all said, well, I had a name for it, but I won't tell you what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Goss Farm Goof. And we got them on. So it was all staircase, and I got that in bigger cell. But I had a job to do up at North Ends one winter. Don Snow had built a new, and had a new shop built for three big incubators. And it had to be roofed to be asbestos in this year's shop. An old stack of asbestos sheets were frozen together. You can tell how cold it was. Now, no, then, did what a cold is shot. He called it in the winter time. It blows, it blows like a young girl when it's mild. But I'm facing away, sewing these here sheets, mightling them and boring them behind to nail them. And I'm reading that up for a day and a half. And the lady of the house came out. And she said, what do you like a cup of tea at this? I said, just clean my water. I was, I was starving on the cold. Well, she come down with this cup of tea. She said, yeah, but don't think it's bound to be a regular thing. <laughs> Generally speaking, with a good going on. 